Hello, Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club. In front of us is a 1961 Ford Thunderbird. Does have the 390 V8 in it. Automatic transmission. Get the wire wheels, wide whites. This one is an older restoration. I would consider this a, uh, a solid number three. Excellent uh, rust free body. Fantastic lines. And we'll just jump into it. We've got a, one thing I like about these early 60s is just that trim line that just goes from tip to tail all the way through. I love the afterburner rear tail lights. And that chrome just extends all along the body and actually becomes part of the handle there, your door handle. When I'm walking around it, I'm seeing all the gaps line up really, really nice. All the doors, all two of them I should say. Open and shut without drama and great lines. I think the paint, I don't have history on the paint. I would say it's 20, 30 years old. Same uh, with the chrome and trim. I think it's an original car that has just been um, upgraded and maintained through the years. Certainly a repaint at some point. And with that older paint, one thing that's nice is unlike going to a car show or an auction and um, still smells like a paint booth you really don't know what's going to happen to uh, paint if it was poor prep or bondo slathered all over sometimes it can uh, peel apart or have paint issues just six months certainly a couple years later an older paint job like this you know that it's uh, done right done well and isn't going to just fall apart on you. But because of the, uh, uh, the age, you will see little things, you know, there's a little tiny uh, ding on that trim. You can see some aging of that chrome. Little micro scratches here and there. So good running car, good driving car, certainly one that's going to turn heads. Uh, but if you're looking for a show car or a number one, uh, prepare to pay a lot more. And this is just not that. So good driver quality, great body. And then you'll just see some of that uh, patina and wear from the ages. Good looking car. Great greenhouse on it all the way around. You do have power steering, power brakes, power windows, and that's an all new upholstery and new carpet. All of your bright work on the interior is original. And then the door cards have been done, redone as well. Those cocoa mats are uh, not an exact fit, but I had them and just threw them in there to protect that, that new carpet. So beautiful interior, and much like the uh, rest of the car. Well, now we got. Give that one a bit of a pop. Much like the rest of the car, you'll see a blend of new and old, such as this steering wheel. I happen to kind of like those cracks just shows that it's original if that's something that 
you would want to replace as the next owner. Certainly an option there, but nice blend of new and old. It does have the swing away wheel versus the tilt. Gives you a little bit more room to, uh, to jump in. All the lights work, turn signals, etc. We'll take a listen to the engine. see right there high beam low beams there's your data plate dual exhaust all your tail lights work. So that was a common uh, dealer ad of the time. I think 62 was the uh, first year you could get a uh, factory tri-power. So this is not a factory tri-power. Once again, the, the price would reflect that. Right now, we just have the, the middle carburetor set up. Seemed excessive to go tri-power. And so the only carb that's hooked up is the middle. You know, it's a tri-power. We're just running off of one carburetor right now. So nice and quiet, well sorted under here. the power top we put all new relays in replaced all the uh, all the fluid lines so this top is working well I think most of the time of course you're just going to be using this in conditions good weather conditions where the top uh, isn't going to be used but it's nice to know that it does work and does function that's a little chilly outside so we can go ahead and set it down take a look at the top and its condition and then go for a quick test drive as well So all the motors, switches. Are all working well. Two handed operation.
So that top is now secure and snugged in. And then we'll do the fun part and take it for a quick cruise. car to drive around just one-handed steering forgot to take a look at that top I'll stop up here and we can take a look in the outside with that top up V8, smooth running, good feeling suspension, brakes are good, doesn't jerk the wheel one way or another. Reverse is easy enough to get into. Lighting is, is tough this time of year. But there's a quick look with some natural lighting on that 61 Ford Thunderbird with the top up. The top's in good shape. Plastic back window, not glass. And it's definitely a little older and uh, slightly hazy. But the top's in good shape. So, hey, this is the 1961 Ford Thunderbird. If you want to cruise this around and have it in your garage, your collection, you can contact me. I'm Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club, 208-721-1973. Thanks for watching.